हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चेतन वाधरिया एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट क्लास एट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर वन रैशनल नंबर सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विथ रैशनल नंबर्स यू शुड नो अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ नंबर्स दैट आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट आर नेचुरल नंबर्स नेचुरल नंबर्स आर नंबर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री अप टू इन्फिनिटी दिस ऑल आर नेचुरल नंबर्स देन कम्स वॉट आर होल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स इफ यू एड जीरो इन दिस नंबर इन नेचुरल इफ यू एड जीरो ऑल्सो इन दिस वन जीरो वन टू अप टू इन्फिनिटी दिस ऑल आर होल नंबर्स इफ यू एड नेगेटिव नंबर्स इन होल नंबर्स देन दैट बिकम्स इंटीरियर्स सो ऑल द नेगेटिव फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू माइनस टू माइनस वन ऑल द नेगेटिव terms zero and all the positive terms together forms integers now comes rational number that we are going to study in detail in this one rational numbers what are rational numbers guys the number the number which can be written in the form of p by q the number let me write down the definition the number which can be written return in the form of p by q form of p by q where p and q are integers this statement you will understand in higher standard that's why i'm writing where p and q are integers and and q should not be equals to 0 means you had studied in lower standard terms or you you had studied about fractions so this is same as fraction but you you will not not get negative terms in fraction so here negative terms will also come like this 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 it is in the form of p by q this is p this is q and this is negative also positive 4 by 5 so this way any term that is in fraction 7 actually 7 by 1 you can write down 7 is actually 7 by 1 so this are all rational number this all are also rational number 1 2 3 this natural numbers are actually 1 upon 1 this is 0 actually this is 0 by 1 this is minus 2 minus 2 by 1 so this all are also rational numbers so any term uh, that contains one in the denominator or more than one or any natural number in the denominator then that is A rational number. Let me write down three by minus two. Actually, this minus will go move in numerator, so we can write down in this form also, or it can be written as this also. So both are same. This is also a rational number. But here they had written that q should not be equals to zero. Means three by zero. Denominator in denominator you should not get zero. If zero is there, then this is not a rational number. Actually, this is not defined. This type of Terms or numbers are called not defined, so this is not rational. Okay, so you will study about irrational number in low higher standard. That the number which are not rational are irrational number that you will study in higher standard. But here you need to understand that the denominator should not be zero, and both this term p and q should be integers. Why integers? Because sometimes this type of numbers will also come root three by two. So the term with root are actually irrational. So this is not rational so that's why they had told us where p and q are integers this you need to keep in mind guys okay so these are everything about rational numbers and these are different type of rational number and let me make it very clear that zero is also a rational number actually zero can be written as zero by one so zero is also a rational numbers now in class 8 they had given us different different properties let us start with our first property that is closer property actually what is closer property closer property means if you add subtract or multiply or divide any two natural numbers or any whole numbers or any integers the answer should be also either natural whole or integers if i say if i add two whole numbers uh, let me write down 1 plus 3 If your answer one plus three is four, so this is these are also whole number and this is also a whole number. So answer is also a whole number. That's why we can say this these terms are closed under 
adhesion this is closer property just you need to check whether the answer is also coming in the same type of number that are given to you let me make it uh, more clear for you suppose we are going to do it on whole number 3 minus 5 this this was for addition now for subtraction 3 minus 5 these two are whole numbers and we are going to subtract if we are going to subtract we are going to get minus 2 as the answer this is negative so these two were whole numbers but answer is a uh, integer not whole number so what we we are going to say these are not closed whole numbers are not not closed under subtraction okay and if you will multiply i think if you will multiply any two whole numbers answer will be also a whole number so closed under multiplication but in division not closed so this way different different uh, properties you need to check on whole numbers integers and rational numbers it is already given in your textbook you if you will look at them carefully then you will come to know just you need to understand that in most of the cases closed under addition and multiplication and not closed under subtraction and division will come okay this is our first property that if you add two numbers the answer should be in the same category now second property that is commutative commutativity you can say commutativity means if you reverse the number let me tell 1 plus 3 and if 1 plus 3 is 4 if you reverse this number 3 plus 1 then also you are getting same answer so commutative commutative means you need to understand if you reverse that number and if you are getting the same answer then you can say that closed under addition but let me do it with subtraction 1 minus 3 answer is minus 2 and 3 minus 1 answer is positive 2 so you are not getting same answer in subtraction you can see one time you are getting 2 one time you are getting minus 2 so here not closed under subtraction closed under addition generally as i told you that every time you will get closed under addition and multiplication and not closed under subtraction and division so here also this criteria will follow so this way you need to just reverse and check in all these terms in whole numbers in integers in rational number everywhere you need to check and find out the third property that we are going to study that is associativity in associativity you need to take three terms together let me tell you 1 plus 3 plus 5 so first you need to add this and here also 1 plus 3 plus 5 but here you need to add first of all this and check whether you are getting same answers or not 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 is the answer and here 1 and 3 plus 5 8 9 so same answer you are getting in addition so you can say that in closed natural numbers are closed under addition but not closed under subtraction that will come you can subtract and check in subtraction your answer will change let me show you 1 minus 3 minus 5 and here also 1 minus 3 minus 5 so let us see 1 minus 3 minus 2 and then minus 5 minus 2 minus 5 minus 7 will come here and here 1 minus 3 minus 5 will give you minus 2 so 1 minus minus plus 2 here you are getting 3 as your answer here you are getting 7 as your answer minus 7 sorry so you can see both these terms are different so they are not closed under subtraction so these are the property just you need to understand three properties are there closer property commutative property and associative property here only one addition or subtraction you need to do and check whether the answer is coming in the same criteria here you need to reverse the numbers and check whether you are getting the same answer or not and here first time you need to add first of all first and second term and whatever answer is getting you need to add with the third one and in the uh, solution first add second and ter third term and whatever answer is you are getting you need to add with the first so this way you need to fi find out if you are getting same answer they are closed if you are getting different answer they are not closed in that criteria so these three properties are there after that the role of zero the role of 0 and 1 so what is the role of 0 if you add 0 with any term if you add 0 with any term 
you will get the same answer okay if you add zero with any term you will get the same answer so this is the role of zero that if you add zero with any term you are getting going to get the same answer and for this you need to check by addition only and the same way the role of one in role of one just you need to multiply if you multiply one with any term you are going to get the same answer you can see one with 15 also 15 so this is the role of one just you need to understand that if you add zero with any term you are going to get the same answer if you multiply one with any term you are going to get the same answer so, so these are the role of different terms now moving towards the next part that is negative terms or you can say the additive inverse what is additive inverse let me tell you additive inverse means if i am telling you 3 by 2 so the additive inverse of this or the negative term of this will be minus 3 by 2 right so this is negative of this the same way this is its additive inverse if you are going to add this two term every time you will get answer one so that is additive inverse uh, let me tell you if you are having negative integer minus 4 by 7 so what will be additive inverse of this this is negative so just you need to one put positive term with that same term with positive sign. so if you are going to add this so answer will be zero so the answer should be zero not one so my mistake answer should be zero okay every time you you will get the same answer that will be the additive inverse if i am telling you minus five so what will be the additive inverse of minus five directly i think now you will come to know that additive inverse of minus five is five so this is called additive inverse or negative means additive inverse but here when negative terms are given to you you need to find out positive so we cannot say negative but we can say additive inverse okay after this the last thing that you you need to study is the reciprocal what is reciprocal if i am telling you three by two if you interchange this numerator and denominator you will get another term three by two so if you take this denominator into numerator and numerator into denominator this is called the reciprocal of this term so that is also given in your textbook so this is the basic guys all about introduction part of chapter number eight sorry chapter number one class eight mathematics rational numbers and in my next video i'm going to solve the exercise and the questions of this exercise 1.1 thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much all the students of india usa canada uk australia and other countries can join me for more videos